Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. All right, this is another one. Pressure mount on Buhari to resign. Okay, the news in detail. Pressure mount on Buhari to resign over killings and insecurity in Nigeria. DG Adeyonju popular activist has called for the resignation of impeachment of President Muhammad Buhari. Adeyonju co convener of Concerned Nigerians Group said the spate of kidnapping on Kaduna Habuja Road was enough reason for the president to resign or be impeached. He made the call while alleging that over 100 people are adopted along that route at times. Tweeting, Adeyonju wrote, the number of people adopted on Kaduna Road alone is enough to make a president resign or be impeached. Several sources say sometimes over 100 people are adopted on that road and the issues go unreported. Over time, the spate of insecurity in the north and had been alarming, especially kidnapping and banditry. On November 17, 2020, nine students of the Amadou Bello University, ABU Zaria, were adopted and a ransom of 270 million naira was demanded. This led to Dati Gaba and a member of the House of Representatives moving her motion to fence the university. All right, and that has been said so far. And as you can see, there's a picture going viral which says, I won't eat. The person is holding the placard and saying, I won't eat until Nigeria gets better all right a lot have been said so far and um, as it is a nigerian man has gone viral on social media after he revealed he will be going on a hunger strike until nigeria gets better the young man while holding his placard stated that he will never eat again until nigeria gets better however the man on the photo with his statement on the placard was only identified with the twitter username at i am underscore prodigal which has become a meme for social media user on the placard it was boldly written I won't eat until Nigeria gets better. All right, that has been said so far on this one. Hmm. Well, a lot are happening. Well, it's only the good Lord that will help us in this country. Because a lot of people right now, they are like, ah, uh, is this how we, we are going to be? According to that thing, I say, you know, like this, we go the day. It's not an easy thing. I think Nigerians need to wake up. Well, a lot of people have been praying, but some people will tell you that prayer cannot solve it, that we should take it by force. But talking of taking it by force, that is, you know, trying to invite the civil war. Nobody should pray for war in this country. Well, somebody has replied to the guy and said, Unga go kill you. You want to fast for Nigeria, B? You say you no go eat. Are you never hungry? By the time, he they no give you food for like three weeks. Three weeks there, two more, three days, if you know chop. The fourth day, nobody go beg you when they give you better open salad. That's so Nigerian they talk. But mm, well, now the guy know why in they talk like that. Many things don't happen. It's just like the case of that guy that was roaming the street of Lagos with the flag and the other flag saying that who ordered the shooting. And he he was busy saying that even when the whole, con whole country is in a state of chaos. You know, you understand what we are talking about. It's not an easy thing. Well, then who do we hold responsible? That is the question that has been asked. Wow, David Alegbe underscore zero one. I said that mm, this country safe. I tire for 
we our leaders things are just becoming um becoming hmm. and that is it because the rate the whole thing is going you hold ten thousand naira after you must have me let's say one carton of indomie and uh, as far as nigeria is concerned with ten thousand naira one carton of indomie and maybe three boiled egg you will not know what you are using what you have used in, with that ten thousand meaning money don't go that's to tell you that the economic situation of this country eh? you can't do anything with that money and come on ghana if you take that kind of money to ghana this ghana that is here take that money to ghana you can use it to almost hmm, all your all your kitchen will be full with full stuff you will eat over and over again then why is that country like that because they were not greedy Trust, they are not greedy so to say Everybody cooperates. And think that's why things are working for them. You can imagine. Very wicked world. Wicked country, Nigeria. This is bad. Well, a lot of things have been said so far on this one. And as it is, anonymously, this person is saying that, well, hope you know what you are saying by not by saying you will not eat until Nigeria gets better. What if Nigeria get better in the next six months bros no good die you but i think nobody should blame this guy because hmm, he knows what he's facing automatically he's trying to tell us that he's fasting hi for somebody to tell you i'm not going to eat i think this is a shame on our leaders for somebody to be fasting one person to be fasting because of a leader that we voted in to make Nigeria better, then you should know that that this kind of leader is not supposed to lead. Okay, and then um, some somebody is saying that well, he was just saying that by mouth he cannot do it. You see, Nigerians are even even when the guy said he will not eat, Nigerians are even saying that well, forget this guy. For you to know that you no, know, there are some people they are just destined to suffer. Even if this man is saying he will not eat, you should understand that it's an irony. That is, he will eat doesn't mean he was not going to eat. But at least for some time, he's fasting to pray against bad governments. Now, wait him maybe that. Uh, okay, so now, no, no. Yeah, so, all right. Ojo Payos has said that, well, no resignation in the book of African leaders. What they are after is tenure, elongation, like third term fourth term and eventually life president okay may god save us from these wicked leaders amen no oh. hmm. well the thing is as it stands a lot of people are tired already a lot of people are tired even you no know, in it is in those days somebody will tell you that oh baba next year like this i'll go buy land i won't build us that's how they save money. But now, hmm, the level to which the country is now, people are no longer saving money to, to build us. So they are saving money. Say, bros, ah, how more? Are they safe? Hmm, I just pray Nigeria will not turn to that level. That somebody will not say, oh, my bros, we wish you more today. Ah, we'll say, ah, nah, February. Okay, February, I beg. Are they safe? Are they safe? Uh, 1,000. Uh, so that by Christmas, I will buy one bag of rice. Make make uh, the country no go be like that. So if you buy rice, we will go chop. Of which, in a month, your salary can even get it. But now, person will come to save from January to December to buy rice. I pray it won't be our portion. Too bad. Well, that is it, all my people, on this one. Well, let me have more take from you on this. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.